say hello. Oh, thank you. Behold. Anyways, hi guys, I'm Tori. Welcome to my YouTube. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Um, in today's video, I thought it would be fun to get on here and talk about a couple of products that I'm loving, mostly just skincare and makeup related, anything in that category. Um, these are a couple of things that I've just kind of found in the last like month or two that I've just been loving, so I thought it would be fun to share with you guys. So um, if you do like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the video. The first thing that I want to talk about um, that one of my girlfriends, Taylor showed me recently um, is this new way that I have been taking off my makeup so me and probably a lot of people use these guys these Neutrogena wipes which are totally fine I feel like they work for some people but just recently in the last couple of months I've been taking it off do you ever take your makeup off and then wash your face and then you'll wipe your face on a towel and you're like uh, why do I still have makeup on my face like it's just weird like it feel like it doesn't get all of the makeup off which is gross which can cause like breakouts and clogged pores and yada 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 so i wanted to find something different and my like i said my friend taylor um showed me these things called face halos and she talked to me about them you can get them on amazon and i started using them and i've noticed a huge difference in my skin and i'm completely obsessed with them so they look like this they're just like a little round thing um you get it wet with warm water and then you can use any kind of like light um face makeup remover this is bioderma i get this wet and then i squirt this on it and then i just like go on my face and take all of my makeup off this way and i'm not kidding it gets everything off your face including your face makeup your eye makeup everything is gone so after that then i cleanse um moisturize do my serums all of that and i have noticed a huge difference in my skin um i also recently with these guys bought the hydro boost ones which i thought would be good for my skin because i'm really dry but i don't know i just feel like these makeup wipes over time i feel like they're just not super super good for your skin so i just wanted something that was going to get deeper in there and really just like suck all of my makeup off at the end of the night and i really feel like these face halos do it so you can get these on amazon um i will link them down below um including everything else that i'm showing you guys today second thing that i wanted to talk about is um this facial recovery oil this is by eminence um i go to a girl here in scottsdale named Brittany white i'm obsessed with her i've been going to her for I don't know three or four years now and she is like the best esthetician i've ever met i'm so obsessed with her she's amazing i'm gonna link her instagram down below so you guys can follow her and check her out um but she recently introduced this into my skincare routine um like i said it's a facial recovery oil sometimes i'll mix it into my moisturizer at night or if i'm having any breakouts you can put them right on your breakouts and it just kind of like heals them through the night you put it on morning and night um Again, I have really dry skin, so this is just something that I really love. Oh, hello, Mr. Bows. I already showed you guys one of my dogs. I have to show you. This is the OG. This is the big hefter. This is Bowser. His ears are always back because, you know, he's always in a mood, but I'm in love with him. They're my little children, my little angels. You look so excited to be on camera. He's just, like, unfazed at life. I just, I just love him. Do you want to go? Okay, bye. See you later. See you later. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, for dry skin, I feel like this is amazing. And if you have, like I said, any breakouts or anything like that, I just like to incorporate this into my like daily moisturizer routine. So again, this is by Eminence and it's called the Facial Recovery Oil. Um, so I'll link that down below as well. I'm pretty sure that if you're trying to buy um, one of these locally, you can only get them from like professional places like esthetician offices maybe even doctor's offices um so like i said i'll link britney's stuff down below but this is something that i have been just loving and i feel like i can't live without it now i have to keep buying it it's a really small bottle too but this has lasted me like a very long time next skincare thing that i wanted to talk about that i've been in love with is um this eye cream it's also by eminence it's called the snow mushroom moisture cloud eye cream looks like this comes in a little jar i'm not gonna lie it does not smell the best. It kind of smells like mushrooms, if you know what mushrooms smell like. Not cooked mushrooms, just like raw mushrooms. It doesn't smell the best, 
but I will say I feel like it works wonders on my under eyes. I haven't really found an under eye cream that I'm obsessed with or that really works. I feel like I don't have really bad dark circles, but I feel like sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I feel like I'm a bit sunken in. I feel like this is perfect for that. I feel like it really like plumps your skin up and just makes you look more alive and fresh. And obviously it doesn't happen overnight. You have to continuously keep using it, but I have noticed a huge difference in my under eyes. And yeah, this is just like a really good staple. I'm just gonna keep getting this and getting this. So I love this again, um, this is from Brittany. It's the same brand Eminence as the facial recovery oil that I have been just loving it. And I feel like you guys would like it too. All right, now I'm gonna talk about a couple of different makeup things that I've been obsessed with. I recently got this at Sephora. Um, maybe like a couple of weeks ago it's by huda beauty and it's called the mercury palette i did it in one of my videos that i posted um maybe a couple of weeks ago it was like a blush tone eye look um i feel like it's just a really pretty spring summertime palette i am not super like hooked on like bright colors i don't use them every day but i think it's really fun to like incorporate them or just put little pops of them in your makeup routine sometimes and i feel like during the summer people go to music festivals and you know whatever pool parties and you know go on vacation where they want to like sizzle their makeup up and i feel like this is a perfect palette for that next i want to talk about this this is also by huda beauty i feel like i'm using a lot of products that are like by the same line which is weird because i feel like usually my products are just all over the place this is also by huda beauty it is a bronzer cream in a jar looks like this i am in the shade fair although i don't think this looks fair it looks really dark to me um, i actually have it on right now and i really like this i have a couple of cream contours um, and just bronzer sticks that i use and i really liked it but i went into sephora hadn't been in in a while and i asked the lady that worked there i said I have a couple of bronzers that are really warm. I have a couple of bronzers that are really cool. What's like a good in between? She suggested this and I kind of like swatched it on my hand. I liked the consistency of it and I started using it and I really like it. So what I do is just use like a kabuki brush and I just put it right here and kind of on my hairline and I just blend it in and I just feel like it goes on to the skin really nicely. It glides nicely. And yeah, I love it. So this is definitely something going into like spring or summer that I'm definitely gonna be using a lot. Um, in the spring and summertime, I don't like to use powders really. I more so use like creams, liquids, liquid highlighter, liquid blush, all of that just because, I don't know, it just looks more like summery and glowy and fresh. Okay, next, um, I wanna talk about this guy. This is another cream liquid, you know, now that we're going into kind of the spring months that I found that's so um, good. I really, really like it. This is by um, Stila Cosmetics. It is just a little um, cream blush, and I like that it comes in a little compact. I feel like this is so cute. Usually, all of my other cream blushes come in either like tubes or they come in like big palettes. I like that this is just a little compact. Um, this is in the shade Lilium, and I really like this too. I feel like it's a neutral tone. It's girly, it's pretty, it's fresh. I love putting blush on just because I feel like it like brightens you up. It makes you look more alive. If I'm just wearing bronzer and foundation and highlighter i kind of feel ghostly so i really like this it's a neutral tone i feel like it would look good on a lot of different skin tones so this is definitely something that i would recommend i want to talk about these guys these are two lip liners that i found recently that i have been wearing really really often they're by patrick ta i know that in the last maybe six months give or take he came out with his own makeup line and i started buying like i bought like he has like a body glow that i really like and he has a spray highlighter that i really like and i think that the lip care that he came out with are more recent so i bought these they did not disappoint i really like them this is in the shade she's humble i'll swatch it on my hand so you guys can see it the only thing that i don't love is i like using a pencil sharpener or like a twisty with lip liners this you have to click it and it goes up and i don't know if you can like put it back down i don't know i just don't love the packaging of it but as far as the colors I really like it oh this one is she's humble just like a really pretty kind of like neutral with like a little hint of like almost like a rosy color and then the other one that i picked up that i really like is called she's proud this one's just a little more dark um i really like i'm weird i either like more like orangey toned lipsticks or i like more like brownie topes and this one's more of like a brownie taupe 
Um, so this one's the more taupey one. I really like this one too, but I love both of them. Those are the ones that I've been kind of using like every day. I like to just wear them by themselves or I'll put like a gloss or lipstick on top of them. I feel like those are just really pretty to like staple everyday colors that you can incorporate into your makeup routine. Next thing that I want to talk about is a lip gloss. This is not new, but it's something that I bought a while ago, wore it a couple of times. I was like, wow, I really like this. And then I forgot about it. And then I just rediscovered it in my ginormous container and drawers of lip glosses and rediscovered it and i love it it's by fenty beauty it's their lip gloss um their fenty glow i want to say that this is like their neutral shade one of the first ones that they came out with but it looks like this i'm honestly not a lip gloss person i don't like the feeling of lip gloss and i just feel like it gets like stuck when you're like drinking and eating this one i feel like is an exception i feel like it's really comfortable it smells so good like it smells like something that i've smelled before but i can't put my finger on it but it just smells familiar and i love it maybe that's why i like it i don't know but it has like a little slight shimmer to it um and it's just like really pretty i feel like this is a really good like summer shade too so it's right there. I really like this one too. They have another shade that is in, um, they have another one that's in the shade hot. I want to say it's called hot cocoa or something. I want to say it's for darker skin tones, but my friend Autumn works at Sephora and she showed me it. And I feel like if you pair it with the right lipstick, it's really pretty. It deepens your lips a little bit, but I just feel like it's a really pretty one. Like I would put the hot cocoa one over this like taupey, um lip liner by patrick ta i feel like that's like the perfect night out uh lip combination so i really like this one too if you're on the hunt for some kind of like new everyday lip gloss and you are a lip gloss person i love this one even if you're not a lip gloss person i wasn't either but this one is an exception the last two things i wanted to talk about aren't super like makeup skincare related actually they're not a little bit they're not at all but i just found them recently and i really like them so i'm the pickiest person when it comes to perfumes i've been wearing the same perfume for who knows how long like years and years and years and i'm obsessed with it it's called alien and i like can't wear anything else i love it but recently one of my clients came in and was wearing something and i was just like wow that smells really good and i usually am not obsessed with different perfumes but i loved this smell i asked her and she told me that it was by ysl and it was called libre l-i-b-r-e or maybe i'm saying that wrong it's obviously you know not an english word but i loved it i went to go buy it and i have been wearing this almost as much as i wear alien um it's in really cute packaging looks like this it's more of a girly scent the other one that i wear almost smells more like masculine i feel like i like masculine scents more like more like not spicy but i don't like floral like scents i like more more just masculine -y, like cologne -y, like whatever that's me i'm weird anyways um but i really like this this is the first girly perfume where i'm like wow i really like this smell and i wore um to dinner with my boyfriend the other night and even he was like wow that smells so good what are you wearing is that new so ladies um if you're on the hunt for a new perfume get this guy it is great and you won't be disappointed so the last thing that I wanted to talk about, which is also random, but something I just thought would be fun to bring up, um, is this guy. This is a pillowcase, yes, but it's not just any pillowcase. It is a silk pillowcase and it is by Slip. Um, my assistant Haley um, got it for me and I love it so much. I wasn't super like on board with the whole Slip pillowcase thing. I didn't have one, so I didn't really like get the hype about it but she got it for me for christmas and i've been using it and i'm honestly so obsessed with it i feel like one it's better for your hair two i feel like if you're someone that wears your hair curled a lot or you like to wear it like let's say you get like blowouts regularly your hair's done don't you hate when you fall asleep and then the next morning you wake up and you're like cool my hair looks like a damn bird's nest i look like a freak i have to put it in high bun for the rest of the day everyone hates that you, everyone hates styling their hair every day I truly feel like this pillowcase somehow, some way makes it so your hair doesn't get as like fucked up at night, if that makes sense. I don't know how it works, but I do feel like it just makes my hair softer. Like I don't have a hard time brushing it out in the morning. It's just so much better. So I just really like that. So it is a little bit pricey, I think, but honestly, it is so worth it. Like, I mean, if I don't have to do my hair every day, 
from you know sleeping on it wrong or whatever i will spend any amount of money to you know prevent that from happening so that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope that you guys got some kind of like inspiration to maybe add one of these into your makeup routine or skincare routine or whatever i just know that i love watching these like one of my favorite things to watch on youtube is just new like product hauls skincare hauls makeup hauls whatever and you can just kind of like get inspiration for something that maybe you haven't seen before or if you're looking for something else and incorporate it into your um daily routine so i hope that you guys liked it if you do please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and leave any comments below in the video if you want to see anything else from me or if you get any of these products and you love them please let me know because i would love to see what you guys have gotten and uh yeah that's it for today's video so i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time